Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so uh, let's have a look what Cancer, Sun, uh, Moon and as well Rising are to experience throughout the upcoming week in terms of a, a love and career. And the first thing that we're going to look at, guys, that is to be your uh, love throughout the week and the love situations uh, throughout the week. And uh, let me shuffle and see what we got. Right, so the first one, wow, we do have the Hermit for you, followed by uh, the Two of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the Seven of Swords, and the last one, uh, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, so let's start with those that are single. According to those cards... Um, So according to those cards, uh, you might not like what I am to say, but it does look like that the substantial one, if you are to name it, it's not around you right now. And I'm talking about like an archetype, okay? The person could be around, but the archetype that the person has may not be around. So what that means that they probably need to mature more or they need to grow more as an individual before they become actually suitable for you, all right? Uh, and that is as far as it goes uh, with uh, with those that are single. Maybe you want to consider trying your chances outside of your social circle. And as the Eight of Pentacles stands, if you are entirely single, it's time for you to go out and just display yourself in front of the new world. And under the new world, I mean new people that you are ready to give and receive love. But those that are within a relationship right now, for them, the situation plays out entirely differently. And it plays out in a way that they are to um, find a way how to consolidate their relationship or to strengthen their relationship within, those, uh, within this particular week. And uh, that being said, those which are uh, probably baffling themselves, should I stay or go, they are likely to find themselves uh, kind of like leaning toward that they should stay within their current relationship throughout the week and moving forward as well, because in that particular week, it's highly likely that you're going to find a way how to reach symbiosis in between you and your husband or a wife or in your partner, suitor, whatever. Uh, it's going to be a slow process though, okay? And uh, you need to know that not everybody is going to be happy of that situation. And they're happy, I mean, for example, your parents may encourage you to leave your relationship and why, while you decide that you should stay, they may not be happy of, uh, of that decision and they may not applaud you or give you their 
blessing or support through it. Now, nonetheless, uh, by the end of the week, you are to find what exactly is causing the problems for as long as you do have problems there and for as much as you do have problems because not every relationship of cancer is going to be on the rock, you know, but nonetheless, there are still problems within the relationship. So you are going to find whatever causes the, those um those problems and attend to those details. What that will allow you to do is is couple of things. Now, first one is going to allow you to realize how much you do love your partner, the person that you are with or the person that you do have an interest in. Okay. Uh, and the second thing, it is going to allow you both, and that is for both of you to plan your relationship for the far future, so it's going to extinguish, in, oh my God, extinguish completely even the, um, not the idea, but it's kind of like the possibility, if you will, to leave each other, uh, to leave each other aside or to split ways, to break that relationship or a whatever. But that being said, there are, there is a, a condition here and the condition is that the agenda, or rather like the, I would say the vision, yeah, it's the agenda, your agenda and the agenda of your partner needs to be the same. So for example, if you want to get married one day, they have to be on the same agenda also. And if you do keep up with the relationship, find the problem why they don't want to be married for you, for example, if that's the problem, work on it, then they are to be convinced that they will marry you one day and there you go, you are on the same page. Uh, same thing in regards to children and so on and so forth. So pretty much you need to keep up with your, uh, with your vision and you need to uh, address the issues that are obstructing your partner of uh, seeing the things your way. And if you could not do it by this week, this week you're gonna have the means to do it. And it's all about you taking advantage of those means. Um, a few more things to say here before we jump into the uh, career reading. It is that you may be a little bit more bruisey, if that's uh, the word that I should use, where it's kind of like enforcing certain things, behavior, opinions, and etc., etc. Not in a major way, uh, and you may not think that you are doing it, but it may look like from the uh, from the eyes of your partner. So if you see them a bit distant or reacting in a certain uh, in a certain suggestion of yours uh, in a way that they should not react, maybe it's, it will be a good idea to talk with them why they are reacting that way and probably they're going to share that this is not a suggestion from their view but it was more like a uh, you're just telling you're not suggesting okay so that was uh, that was in terms of your, of your uh, love life for the week that it is coming now let's have a look what you are to experience cancer in terms of a uh, career Alright, so the first one in terms of career is going to be the Page of uh, Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the King of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Wheel of Fortune, and the last one for you, that is to be Justice. So it will be overall quite productive week in terms of career. Now, first thing that we have to take uh, under consideration is those that does not have a job. Uh, I already used the expression for another star sign. I don't remember which one was it, but here we do have a, again, blessing in disguise in terms of career for you. And how it's going to play out it is that uh, probably you are to be offered a kind of a job or you are to stumble upon a job that is going to be very easy for you to get. It's just the job itself may not look very appealing. Uh, what you need to know with the Page of Pentacles though, and that is a conditional card that plays a role for you who are jobless, it is that the job can be as good as you make it to be. So in other words, if you do give extreme devotion, extremely profitable job it is that you are gonna get. You do slack, 
well, not much can be get from it. Uh, and that is further supported by the justice at the end, which points that by the end of the week in terms of career, you definitely are going to get what you deserve. Good or bad, it's uh, yours to uh, it's yours to bear. So that is uh, making the King of Wands into the second position, very, very important card. In fact, it is the most important card of uh, the reading. And uh, it points uh, to the state where one loses themselves within their ambition, to a point where nothing else matters than the ambition, and one is willing to burn anybody and anything in order to accomplish that ambition. And it plays like that if you do focus on monetary success with anything you got and you're willing to burn everything you have uh, and kind of like anybody that is beside you in order to accomplish a monetary success, you are to accomplish it, but that will lead you to a uh, pretty much empty existence, okay? Because you are not going to have anybody or anything to share it with. So what is important here to know in terms of your career that whatever ambition you do have definitely can wait because right now it's, uh, it's more important to... Um, it's more important to undertake what the week gives you rather than to try to set it up the way that it pleases you, okay? And ultimately, if you do tackle with everything that the week gives you, you are to be rather quite successful by the end of the week. It's not excluded that you are gonna be receiving bonuses as a result of it, you know, you are to be accoladed, promoted, uh, and pretty much given as an example, and etc. etc. As well, uh, by the end of the week, uh, you guys are likely to end up pretty overwhelmed by work that is well supported by the Wheel of Fortune and by the Justice card. So you're going to have quite a lot of responsibilities. As a matter of fact, on the first glance, you may think that you won't have the physical ability uh, in terms of a time to tackle with all that because it seems that the whole company will be pouncing on you and giving you everything that the company got to you to bear. And uh, should you kind of like maintain your calmness and uh, don't freak out, do not waver or panic, uh, you are to see that, uh, how can I say, say uh, thanks to your acute business sense, the knack of knowing uh, which leads to which, and astute discernment as well, you will be able to structure your priorities in a such a way that you will have just enough time and just enough means to flawlessly perform in every single one of it. And I'm saying that because it's like I said, it's highly likely that you may feel at the end of the at the end of the week that too much is expected from you. Okay, uh, somebody is overestimating you way too much. Um, and uh, that's not the case. Well, they may be overestimating the company itself to give you that much, but you are definitely on your auto limits and you can manage it should you give yourself to the, uh, once again, the acute business sense you have and the astute discernment to understand and structure it in a way that, that it's not going to overlap or interfere with itself. I mean, the responsibilities themselves. Because remember, at the end of the day, you get what you deserve. You accomplish all of the tasks, you're gonna get paid for all of the tasks. You know, you fail in all of the tasks, you may risk uh, being laid off. I'm just saying, okay. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and in terms of career. Um, hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them, guys, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.